not being able to control something, I think, is the beauty of co-creating with nature. The BioInc project is a collaborative research between Wacom and Ars Electronica Feature Lab. In this project, we are combining Wacom's digital pen tablet technology with Ars Electronica Feature Lab's biotechnology to explore a concept of living ink that grows freely beyond your digital input. We are co-creating with nature, co-creating with other microorganisms and it helps us understand the natural world, other living beings, but also about ourselves. And also when we look at how the microorganisms are growing inside the petri dish, it helps us think about how we live um, on this earth as species in this closed um, environment on this earth where the resources are limited. In the first phase of research, we developed bio ink, bio pen, and bio pad. Here you can see a sample of a bio ink that contains living microorganisms. In the bio pen development, we tested various digital pen tips as well as medical and biological tips to combine with the digital pen. We dipped the pen tip into the living ink to draw and write on a nutrient agar plate that we optimized to combine with the digital tablet. The digital pen data is also captured by the tablet as you draw. And then that digital um, information can be sent for analysis, for example, um, to use them for creative analysis and also be used by collaboration with AI. In the second phase of research, we created a chemical reaction chamber in which we convert the digital pen parameters to biological parameters to interact with the artwork as it grows. We can automatically or manually interact with the artwork in these multi-purpose or single-purpose chambers with temperature, humidity, and biochemical reactions questions that came up during our research process as well as our discussions with the Wacom team and our team is um, what is a signal and what is a noise? Because when you write something on a tablet with a digital pen, um, a lot of data is of course uh, received by the tablet but um, sometimes not all of the information is being um, extracted as data. So are we filtering out important information that's actually happening in the creative process in the real world? We do have um, drawing robots that can actually replicate or reproduce the same artworks, but the interesting thing is that with digital artworks, you can make 100 copies and they will all be the same. But with biological artworks, you can create 100 copies of your artworks or clones of your artwork and they will all be very different. When you think about co-creating with nature or other organisms, I think it is important to think about um, the fact that humans are just a part of nature and you cannot force nature or other organisms to do certain things. You're not trying to control them, I don't think will give you the best results. So not being able to control something, I think, is the beauty of co-creating with nature. I hope that this concept will help people explore a more symbiotic relationship with different types of, of beings. For example, this data is also connected to AI or robots. It's not just the humans that are learning from nature. So I'm very much looking forward to how we can evolve this project into a bigger creative ecosystem.